Welcome to Creative Solutions. Uh, today I'll be doing a question from the year 2017, question number one. Uh, the question reads, a company manufacturer packing cartons in four sizes, uh, cartons to accommodate 6, 12, 24 and 48 boxes. Basically, uh, the sizes of the boxes are which like uh, there are cart uh, cartons which can fit 48 boxes. There are cartons which can fit 24 boxes, 12 boxes and 6 boxes. You need to find the total number of cartons which will be required to fit the boxes. Basically, just to explain the question in simple terms, basically we have cartons uh, which needs to be filled with boxes. Cartons are of different sizes, like different capacity in size. Like uh, some cartons can be filled with 48 boxes, some can be filled with 24 boxes, some with 20, uh, 12 boxes, some with 6 boxes. and and anything left will be filled in the capacity of six boxes okay the only thing uh, the preference should be given to the highest capacity that means we should start with 48 uh, capacity carton then move on to 28 boxes carton then we move to 12 boxes carton then to six boxes carton okay and the boundary range cases is up to thousand maximum uh, we can take user input up to thousand okay like for example there's 726 uh, 726 uh, we can basically uh, 48 into 15 is 720 that means 15 cartons uh, of 48 boxes per ca carton that means 720 boxes can be filled in 15 cartons okay I know it's confusing I'll explain you I know there might be chances that some of you are getting confused what I'm saying basically what I mean to say this is the total number of boxes and I need to allocate them, accommodate them into different cartons. And I should start with the highest carton capacity. Uh, the first is 48 boxes. So I will start with 48 boxes carton capacity. So 48 boxes carton, I mean, I, mean, I will require 15 cartons each of 48 boxes capacity so that it will fill 720. And rest left is 6. I will give. Uh, to the six boxes carton. I hope you got there. Okay, I'll, okay, let's go with another example. Suppose the input given by the user is 140. I'll start with 48 boxes. I'll get 96. The left out is basically we have I think so. Oh, 44. I will give one carton to, to 24. And next uh, we will have about 20. One I'll give to 12. One I'll give to 6. And we have left of two remaining boxes will be two then 140 total number of boxes and total number of cartons required is 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 so it's 6 this is invalid input as we have exceeded the user input of 1000 I hope you got the question basically you need to understand the question because the code part is literally we are just repeating same code everywhere just changing okay I'm using a scanner class this is an uh, Eclipse ID you can the code will run in anywhere in blue chess sector anywhere no issues there Basically, uh, I'll I'm taking the user input. I'm just co copying it in n1 variable because I'll be doing some operation on n here. So I'm copying it in n1 variable. Count is just basically to count the total number of cartons required in all. And this is just the boundary condition. If the total number of boxes exceed 1000, we'll give an invalid input and exit the program. This is for exiting the program then and there. Okay. If the total number of boxes given by the user is greater than or equals to 48, we'll first divide it by 48 because as it as it said that it given to the highest capacity available. So the highest cap capacity available for boxes is 48 box per carton. So uh, I'll divide I'll divide it by 48. Uh, this will basically give us a quotient, the nearest quotient possible. Uh, as you know, it it is it like if uh, if it's a 49. 49 divided by 48 will give us 1 rather than 1 point something something. It does not give a decimal results. It will give a whole number result. So I will basically have uh, the number divisible by the 48. I will have the dividend I'll have and I'll subtract the dividend from the total. That means like for, like for in case of 720, uh, here if I divide 726 by 48, I'm, I will get 15. So I will now uh, have 15 cartons. But I need to subtract from 726 minus 720 because 720 has been already been allocated to 15 cartons. So I'll subtract total number of boxes left. That will be n equals to n minus dividend into 48. That is n minus the total that suppose for example 
seven twenty six minus forty eight into fifteen, so it will be six. Now the new value of n will be six, and this is basically to count the number of cartons. That is count uh, has been initially been given zero. Now the dividend has been added. That is the total number of box. See here I am using if if if. That means uh, actually if I use else if here, only one of the command will run. If I use if, each and every command will be checked. That's the beauty of it. Uh, like each and every else will be checked, then it will unless it goes down, down, down. If I use if else if uh, if if runs, it will not go into else if. Uh, in that case, only either if runs or else if runs. But uh, like you want all the conditions to be checked continuous, continuously, continuously. So you will go for if uh, continuous if. Okay. Now I'll check for twenty four. Uh, the if after being divisible by forty eight, there is no chance there. Uh, there is no chance that it will be uh, left out. But, uh, the any number greater than forty eight will be there. So I'll divide it by twenty four. Same thing. I will subtract the total result. And if there is any number of boxes been allocated, I'll add it here. Same for the twelve. Same for the six. Like suppose like for the first example here, you can see basically if seven twenty six is being done here. Seven twenty six by forty eight will give fifteen. Uh, that is seven twenty. The new n will be seven twenty six minus uh, fifteen into forty eight. That will new the value of new n will be six, and count equals to zero plus fifteen. The new value of count is fifteen and n equals to six. Now here the question is: Is six greater than equals to twenty four? No. So this will not be executed. Is six greater than equals to twelve? No. Is six greater than equals to six? Yes. Six is equals to six. So it will come inside. It will be dividend six divided by six. That is one. Now we'll come here. n equals to six minus one into six that is zero n will be zero and as dividend we we got six divided by six equals to one so it will be fifteen plus one sixteen we'll come outside the uh, we'll just print the total remaining boxes now see uh, in the second example as you can see uh, in case of one forty we have a remainder of two and the minimum capacity holding for a box is six so two can't be allocated and also it says that the two will be given in a uh, Carton capacity of six. So I'll basically, if and anything which is, if till now nothing is, if everything is left, any number below six, we'll just basically give, uh, we'll just increase the total number of cartons by one. That is basically we are allocating this number of left boxes to the carton capacity of six. Okay. I'll just print the given the result. Total number of boxes that is n one as I have uh, the user input and the count is the total number of cartons being used. Okay. I'll just run the program. Cleared. I'll show you how it works. Seven twenty-six winning boxes. Okay, I'll, I'll do one more thing for better understanding. Let me give a print command here. I've given okay. Let me do. Or uh, you might think that it. Uh, let me do one more thing. Let me give an. Let me. It's a local variable, so the div div is not accessible outside. Okay, so it's only inside. It's not a global variable. It's a local variable. Okay. Okay. Let's see whether it works or not. I'll give the same input. You will now see the beauty of it. If I give seven twenty six as input, see. Inside forty eight, that means uh, it it is coming inside forty eight. Total number divisible, uh, the dividend is fifteen. Now it does not go here. It does not go here. It goes inside six. Inside six, same thing. Okay, let's go for some other example. Okay, let's try with one forty. Inside forty eight two, as you can see. Inside twenty four one. Inside twelve one. Inside six one. Remaining boxes two, one forty and six. That's the beauty of it. It clarifies. Like if you have any doubt, it just, it will just clarify. That's it. Okay, I'll just check for the uh, boundary cases also. Four two nine six nine six invalid input. Well, terminate the program. Thank you for watching the video and please do share with your friends. And the code is given in the description section. That's it. And please share with the video. And if you have anything uh, valuable or invaluable input or You want me to change something where I speak or something etc. And your valuable input will always be appreciated. Thank you.